one of the cool things about the three rail is that you can do reverse loops. So this is the first section of my layout before I add it on. This was all I had. It's 12 foot by eight and a half foot. You can see I had a reverse loop in the middle of that and I could turn around about 20 cars. I made that loop as big as I could and then I could just pull those 20 cards out onto the next loop since they wouldn't turn all the way around on the inside loop. The Pennsylvania 462 is pulling right now. So now I can turn 20 cars around either direction using the whole layout. This is the added on section. And you can see I only use the three switches for that, so I can only turn them around one direction. These aerial views with the layout plan. Let's put the like and subscribe in it. Now we'll focus on that center part where the train loops through. And I already knew that the two halves were about the same, but you'll see in this video that they're within about an inch of each other. I'd like to say that I planned it that way, but I didn't. Just ended up that way when I had it on the new section. The first attempt that could be a foreshadowing of what's going to happen. So, the way that this came about, I had the Y6B pulling about 18 cars on the outside loop. And then I had the uh, Mikado, the 282, pulling, I think I had 16 cars on it. So I thought, well, I wanted to do, put them, the two consists together. And I thought, well, I'll go ahead and put, add a few more cars and make it 40. So I did that and had the Y6B pulling them around there. So while I was pulling, I noticed when it came across the, uh, past the interchange there, that it was really close and it looked like it would fit to do, you know, turn the entire consist around. So that was what happened. So I set up two cameras. I have a camera here that's stationary and I just have it pan around with the editing. And then this is the other camera angle, which I can zoom in and zoom out and move it around and get a few different um, parts of the layout. So as you can see, when the Y6B is pointed through here, here it goes. Okay, so that made it. So when that happened, I thought, oh, I'm in. So if it fit that way, it should fit the other way. I knew they were pretty close. The consist has Williams box cars, uh, MTH cars, and Lionel cars. And there's also some cars from Menards. These are, this is mostly the cars that I run with the steam engines. They're usually, they're kind of older, the older model cars. Not that I have a lot of new models, but. So, and then they're stacked a certain way, because like the smaller, lighter cars are in the back of the consist, because uh, they wouldn't the You have to be kind of strategic when you have consist this big in all different types of cars. Just as a reminder, this was the first time that I ran these cars through the reverse. I didn't check them beforehand, just knew that they were close. So filming them with two cameras the first time, this, this was live, first attempt to turn 40 cars around.
Oh, oh, oh. oh, it's like, don't! So nothing happened except it knocked that back truck off of the caboose. I have a video of it running after I re-railed it later in the video. This is the 282 Pennsylvania Mikado Line Chief Plus. Also have my uh, Pennsylvania Pacific 462 on passenger cars. The consist is exactly the same. I changed the caboose so the road names will match. But this is the Mikado pulling this, and I'm telling you, this model is. I can't get over how well this thing pulls. The Lion G Plus 282 will pull this 40 car consist all the way around my layout at about 6 scale mile per hour. Just creeps it all the way around. Doesn't slip, doesn't hesitate. Now on my the Pacific 462, it'll it will pull it, but if you run it too slow. And as soon as the traction tire hits a bad spot, it, it'll pause. At, at best, it'll pause. Otherwise, it'll just stop and the tire will spin. This Mikado will pull anything. So the next video, I'm thinking I'm going to see how many cars this thing can pull. Oh, here we go. I kind of figured that it would work. Of course, it was the other end where it hit. I still think this one's going to be short enough. Back to that Mikado. I don't even know if I have enough cars so I can stop that thing. This is most of my cars right here. I don't think I don't even know if I have 60 cars that I could put on it. At any rate, speaking of upcoming videos. The days of this layout are numbered. The wife and I received an offer on our house and we're going to be moving more than likely. So, this, uh, the upcoming videos, I'm going to do some. I'm going to talk about the layout and how I've done stuff. Um, just so I can have some video evidence of how I had this set up. As you know, this, these are on, uh, banquet tables and uh, just because I figured eventually we would be. so um, this is going to be relocated and I'll, I'll try to video everything oh that was close Ooh. I didn't make it so anyways the uh, the reason I have it set up this way is because I figured we would be moving my youngest son is a senior in high school, so if, uh, this house is too big. So I don't know exactly what's going to be happening, um, but I'll try to get some videos of things that are uh, that I'm taking it apart and moving it and setting it back up somewhere. So keep watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Also, work is about to start again on the lodge layout. We've been busy with other things down at the property, so we haven't been able to work on it. But, uh, Mike and Mark and I are all, we're all getting anxious to get it, get it going again. So we'll have videos coming up of that. I really like this angle right here. I tried to get as much of the layout as I could in one shot. Let's see if you see the whole consist. I have to say that I'm going to be kind of bummed out. This layout is really cool. I really like it. It's going to be kind of a bummer with this part.
Well, thanks for watching, and uh, be sure to like and subscribe. I'm going to stop the narration now. I've got a couple of clips for you to watch. Uh, the uh, Pennsylvania K4S form, the consist round, and then also the Y60. Thanks for watching. God bless.